How's it going everybody? I'm gonna show you the best possible way to fish in Black Desert Online with the fishing rod. Technically there's two types of fishing, harpooning and with the fishing rod. Technically both of them are not worth your time, you should just go grind and do circles. But if you are truly insisting on fishing, let me show you the true example of how you're supposed to fish. This is pretty much the example. You just park it, minimize your game, and go play other games. But if you insist on in active fishing, I will oblige. Oblige him. It's literally the same thing as it was two, three years ago when I made the tutorial on how you're supposed to get triple rods, which are these, the best active fishing rod in the game, which it allows you to catch multiple fish at the same time, sometimes, randomly. You get it from this guy. Uh, the initial quest is takes a little bit, but then you have to go hunt Grunt, Tuna, Black Porgy, and Spotted Sea Bass, which takes you a while, and you get as a reward three of those rods. And you're saying, well, why don't you just buy them? 4,000 pre-orders. Good luck getting a pre-order. But because I am a well-prepared fisher, plus I still have my dreams of BDO getting a fishing update, I have a bunch of triple rods in stock. And I wanted to make this video. First of all, you have to untag your character, so all the billions invested have to be untagged because you can't sell the fish if you're tagged. Second of all, uh, you don't need mastery for fishing uh, when you're gonna be doing this meth. Price catch fish, it doesn't matter where what you're gonna do is fish hotspots in this region, which is like slightly next to the uh, pirates, and we're gonna do that because we want the furthest possible distance, which is the hotspot spawns on this side, and then we go and trade all of them in Valencia, but we can't use Magnus just because Magnus uh, doesn't allow you with trade items, which fish are trade items. Plus, we need to go to the desert to get the Pilgrim Sanctum, I think, or one of them Pilgrims. Get the double uh, fish prices increased or double trade goods price increased. Both of those quests are available. I think uh, you need to reach Artisan, Mast uh, Artisan 2 in trading to unlock the double goods in Pilgrims. I think we're done talking. Don't forget to get your Karak. It's gonna only take you two months and it's gonna get you a big boat. You can also get the um, Ethereum sailboat. Actually, they're sold out. It's nice. You get on your boat and preferably you have a fast boat so you don't uh, waste your time on sailing because everything when it comes to fishing and this method, you need, oh, sorry. My bad. You need time. So we are boosting to this uh, part of the map. I think the most uh, hotspots are in this map or in here. And we're going. So let me set my timer. Technically, the timer should have been set when I started all this, but I'll set on now. Obviously, you can grind also for the archaeologist map, which allows you to teleport to the town from where you are and teleport back to the spot you were. So technically, I could be fishing uh, near the pirates and then archaeology map to uh, Portoferia. Then you also should get a tier 10, so you increase your speed by traveling. Uh, preferably, you should uh, tap a tier 10 dine so you can speed through the Valencia. Just because myself, I have a tier 10 Pegasus, it's gonna kinda ruin the time. I would have to go and slowly change into the camel and slowly go to the pilgrims and then Valencia traded him in. Oh, also don't forget to have as much as inventory possible, so you can do that by doing seasonal or you can just pull out your credit card and buy some inventory space. They're usually on sales, never actually buy anything in the game full price. There's always going to be a coupon, there's always going to be a, a sale, there's always going to be something that you can... With enough patience, you can also just wait for them to give out as the login rewards or as some kind of rewards. Okay, we have our first hotspot. For those who don't know, there is a specific fish for specific icons, so I think orange equals porgies. The faster you do this, the more money you will earn because the, ta the fish has expiration dates or expiration time dates, I guess that's the same thing. So you have to do this in the three hours that it's going to take you. And now, tune in to a streamer, tune in to a YouTube video, tune in to a, your TV show, and enjoy the two and a half hours that you will have been doing this. Also, don't forget to have fishing level five or five with the guild plus your fishing clothes. You should be easily plus two without even any foods. Okay, so it's been... 
two hours and 34 minutes and my inventory is almost full i've been writing down every single time i catch a fish how many what's the percentage and at the end i will tell you the percentage also little tips uh for, for the fact like when this disappears from the screen eventually when you fish out the spot it will disappear visually but sometimes it stays over uh, either it disappears immediately or five casts later you can still fish the same fish that you've been sp fishing so for instance this one is the puffer fish so after it disappears visually i can still fish and most likely i will get it i have not used a single time energy so the stats should be clean so this is my result of with the 119 so 52 percent to catch one fish 37 so i assume 50 40 10 and one percent to catch four fishes in once and now i just do this if you have a uh, archaeologist map you did this and then you run as fast as possible because it's all about time it's already i already spent two hours and 40 minutes catching all of this full inventory of fish so now hopefully you have your celestial horn then you call your horsey uh interesting that's a new one why does my horse not teleport next to me okay I'm not in Nelvia. What the? What? What? what uh, so you imagine the scenario if you don't have a map you have to go back as fast as possible to the nearest port i will go to valley at oh also i used up one and a half triple rod fishing durability but that depends on your level and pets equipped so the expiration date is on the fish you can see it's been 22 and it still has a hundred percent the current value but it's gonna slowly decrease and all and the percentages really do matter if you are gonna do this you cannot take breaks only three hours every second matters and you must go fast and we're back on land okay horse okay and with the power of editing we're here uh, they give away a bunch of compasses so i do have sealed compass i also grinded a compass but i don't want to take over uh one of my inventory slots just because it's filled with fishes so you can actually just buy yourself a compass from the market they're pretty easy to get now that everybody's just been listing them so just buy three combine it and you will not be lost in the desert uh, when you're going for your pilgrim there we go so you talk to this guy you get the difficult trade buff which is a hundred actually energy and then you get prices of goods coming through uh, in hospitable desert will increase by 100 percent and now we just hop on to valencia and now we're here so trading buff now you see the percentages the distant bonus is 100 percent we're looking at the green tax which is we want i think up to 120 or 130 percent so 111 105 what about the other fish? Oh, see, 130. So we do want indeed to sell puffer fish. So then we bargain to get extra bonuses. There you go. And we sell slowly up to 120. 
I think up to 125 and then you can swap to guild servers which has no cooldown for I actually forgot to mention you do want to swap between servers when you're looking for hotspots just because it's eventually gonna run out then eventually you're gonna be sitting there without no fish in your area when you're fishing for hotspots so be sure to just be on a guild server so we just finished the first one then we swap on the guild servers so we don't have any cooldown to the next server and we try again yeah swapping again yeah so a lot of people don't know that there's two traders in valencia so you go to the other one because it has different prices or usually has different prices and the second trader is right here and let's see there's a 10 percent and 110 110 111 that's sad three hours and nine minutes 294 million equals to 244 mil that's not it by the way so technically you burned one and a half float triple rods minus 9.3 mil six five another one so that's another half boom so 210 mil and then the cherry on the top that took me three hours so divide that by three hours and i got myself a 70.6 mil because i thought that i'm gonna be making 150 mil not 70 mil per hour well at least I, it actually turned out to be a good test because i literally thought that i'm gonna be making 150 mil so at least it's nice to realize that it's not even 150 mil per hour or i did something wrong with math or i did something wrong with fishing so back to the main point, I think uh, just leave fishing for AFK events like this one where you get a free try manos accessory if you complete it, which is you go fish in a specific spot and then you'll get lost luggage and then you get Floramos accessory, which is equals to a try manos accessory that you can't sell on the market, but you can use. That's why the slight crash in manos. But yep. Enjoy. Thank you very much for coming into the stream, wishing me good thoughts and whatnot. It's very appreciative of you because you don't have to do that. You can just leave a YouTube comment and it's going to be great as well. Enjoy. Have a great time. And now I'm going to go back to probably continue on playing some Valheim where there is some fishing that I can do for my group.